Yo, what is going on guys? This is your boy Arbiter, aka Arbiter, aka TH Eighty Nine, aka Anthony, whatever you like to call me. And today, I I thought like because I didn't really have a commentary idea for today, so I just wanted to overview the Rex from yesterday's update, or the Hog Wild update. As you can see right now, I have gameplay of the uh, the Sword Neither Warthog. I, be I believe, and I w I'm sorry about the whole, like, weird camera angle, whatever. Uh, theater was being really weird, and it couldn't, like, it wouldn't let me go into first person, so I was, like, trying to figure that out, because I was being really stupid. But, uh, basically, I would tell you everything that I think about the Needler Warthog, and then I have the Vespin Rocket Hog after uh, the Needler Warthog blows up, so you can see gameplay and hear my thoughts about that as well. Um, the main flaw to the Needler Warthog that I found from about the, the three or four times that I've used it, it's kind of weak. Like, the, I don't know, it's not this guy. It is this guy. This guy right here, just look at how many bullets this guy takes with the Needler. And he's still just running, and it was like, what the hell? Uh, it takes like six or seven shots to kill with it, which is very weird considering, uh, like the Goss Hog doesn't really kill that uh, slow, it kills pretty fast. Right here I killed the Ghost Ultra with it which is pretty cool. Uh, it's basically like, it doesn't do a lot of damage but it does kill decently fast. Uh, I, I don't really know what it would be used for, I mean it's mostly like an anti-infantry. It doesn't really kill vehicles, that's what the Rocket Hog's for. But uh, a lot of strengths I can say in this uh, vehicle is the fact that it has the shield because it doesn't take any damage unless that shield's down and it makes it pretty uh, viable in the beginning of a game as because it's a level 3 wreck I believe. Uh, it doesn't drive faster than the other Warthogs. The, uh, the Rally Warthog I believe it's called. That's the... Uh, Warthog that's it's just a normal Warthog it just drives faster and I believe it has like uh, stronger armor I could be wrong but uh yeah major things that I think that could improve this Warthog is just if they added some damage to the uh, turret because it just doesn't feel right like it feels like it should be utterly destroying people but in some scenarios it just doesn't feel like that's happening uh, Another cool thing about it, when the shields regen, I think it looks really cool on the Warthog. Uh, that's like my own personal thing, I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but just look at that. It looks pretty amazing. Um, oh, and the cooldown, the turret, like, overheat, it's phenomenal. I'm, like, it takes forever for that thing to actually overheat, which is a major plus to, uh, using it. Uh, right there we collided with our teammate and it kind of looked cool as both our shields went down. Uh, there's not much really to say about this thing. I feel like they changed the handling on all of the Warthogs because all of the uh, Warthogs feel very smooth driving now. Like, they can make sharp turns and such. Uh, more with the Rally Warthogs, but I you can kind of feel it with the uh, Needler Warthog. Besides that, there's not really much else about this Warthog. It's very great. Uh, the concept was pretty amazing. It was uh, pretty creative that they keep adding some of the elite stuff with the uh, human stuff to make better vehicles. And there we blew up. And now you can see the Vespin Rocket Hog, which is a phenomenal vehicle, by the way. The fact, like, just seeing how fast it shoots is very... Uh, Amazing. It's, I feel like it's also buffed in damage. I don't know if that's a true statement, but usually when I use Rocket Hogs, right there, like how I just got all those hit markers, it, it would never kill unless I got like a direct hit. But with this thing, I feel like I, it just completely destroys any Spartan that's just in its path. Uh, I, I have to check into that to see if it uh, has a damage, bo uh, damage buff, 
Uh, but I'm not sure. I think it does because it just completely, utterly destroys everything. As you'll see later on in this gameplay, it destroys a Mantis, or the legendary Mantis, Lord Veritas, I believe his name is. Uh, honestly, I'm these wrecks from this update have been pretty amazing. The hybrid weapons, they're phenomenal. The carbine scope on the battle rifle just feels nice. Uh, even, like, just the wreck levels. I know that this wasn't with the update, but, like, making the Rocket Hog a level 4 wreck, but this one's, like, a level 5, uh, makes it a lot more viable in the game because it's, like, as opposed to having level 6 wrecks, you can spawn in, like, a Banshee or a Mantis or a Tank. It's like, oh, the Rocket Hog's also level 6. It made it kind of less important. As, like, everyone would be like, oh, I'm gonna spawn in a Banshee, because Banshees are fun, and cool, and, you know. Uh, but now they made these level 4, but uh, the Vespin Rocket, as I said, is level 5. But it still makes it kind of more viable now, because it's like, you get Wheelman at level 5, you get the Rocket Hog at level 5, you can honestly just, uh, early game destroy people and cap bases and such. Uh... I don't really know if there's much else to say. I mean, overall, this update was a pretty good update. Uh, it wasn't really, like, a huge one. It was just adding a little few things because the Warzone Firefight update, which is in the end of June, if I'm not wrong, that's going to have, like, everything in it. They had to cut out a bunch of stuff from this update, and they put it in that update. And right there, you see I kill him. Uh, but yeah... I think I'm just gonna let the commentary roll out, and uh, yeah, it's been a boy arbiter, and I'm out. Peace. available. 